bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. The smarts they yell when the bell rails in your mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to whoop, jump, cheer. Fucking hell, thanks for coming. Like, I appreciate it, I really do. I genuinely thought. What you do, Chrissy? Gym instructor. Where'd you do your CrossFit, mate? In prison. Fucker turns up, he's go out. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was, part of me was like, I hope the match is dead good and everyone's dead sad about all the ones that died in the Grand National so they don't turn up. <laughs> and then I'll just have empty seats and I'll just sit here for my, like 10 minutes just to prove that no one's coming and then just fuck off home. But you fucking ruined it, didn't you, you dickheads? Um, thank you, thank you so much. I, I, honestly, like, it's it's mad to me that these people... I don't know if you've all come to see me fall over or something while I walked on the stage. If you did, I fucking nailed it, dickheads, didn't do it. So <laughs> you can all go home. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's, uh, it's my show. It's not my show straight away. I'm going to do a little bit of chat. I might talk to you. might ask you why you still got your coat on. Um, <laughs> might. I might not. I just did. Um... <laughs> And then I got a support out, Molly McGuinness is fucking brilliant. Then there's going to be a break straight after Molly. And then, uh, yeah, I'll come back and do an hour if you're all sober enough and that. Full of Pringles. I've just seen those bare Pringles. Flumps. You'd be flumped up. You might imagine if like, that's why, you, oh, do you enjoy the show? Nah, why? Too many flumps, mate. <laughs> How many flumps you had? You've had too many flumps there. Eh? <laughs> too many flumps, too many, many flumps. <laughs> What's your name? Hi, Matt. You okay? Where are you from? Runcorn. Why'd you say it? Everyone who went... Do you know, the only people who think Runcorn shit are people from Runcorn. Like, I've done this loads, and I'm like, where are you from? And everyone goes, Runcorn. <laughs> it's like, it's fine. I've been. You've got the, one of the best toll bridges I've ever driven across. <laughs> just be proud of it. It's smooth, isn't it? Because it's new. You can just be like, Whoa. it's better than the old one. That rickety one, the smooth one's lovely. I mean, I don't go over it. I might now. The tunnel's two quid. Now it's the same price. I used to do tunnel to save myself 20p so I could buy some flumps. <laughs> um, just get some flumps from shop. But don't need to. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll go that way now. What do you do? Um, All right. A chemenge. I think that's what the kids, the kids call it, isn't it? A chemenge. <laughs> um, who's seen me, by the way, who's seen me do comedy here? And who's come because they like the podcast, maybe? A yeah. few people, that's cool. No one's come. I just want to find out. No one's come because I said that I had a dog that was... <laughs> right. When I was selling tickets, as a joke, I was like, ooh, there's, you better buy your tickets soon because I've got a dog and it needs an operation. <laughs> right? Obviously a joke, right? I did Manchester and there was a dude <laughs> just sat in the front row and he was like, he was Polish and he was just like, how's the dog? <laughs> but like just stared at me straight away, like not like just fucking no banter or nothing. He was just like, how's the dog? And I was like, what dog? <laughs> and he was like, did he get its operation? I was like, mate, you didn't. Please tell me that's not why you're here, man. Because the good news is, is the dog is alive. The bad news is it's also dead. Because it doesn't fucking exist. I haven't had the dog since I was about 15. So no one came because of that, right? Yeah, the dog's so well, mate. Thank you. Thank you so much. For Sorry? Uh, yeah, that's literally what I just said. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you're all right, mate. Um... My dog is fine. My dog, um, Matt. <laughs> Couldn't think of a name. Remember Jaws. You want to see the dog? He's lovely. He's great coat. <laughs> Take your fucking coat off, Matt. Are you not staying? Imagine, it. I'm just here for the bit of comparing at the top, then I'm gonzies. <laughs> you working tomorrow? Yeah. Doing the chemicals and that. Engineering the chemicals. What sort of shit? What colours? What colour chemicals? Clear. Just clear? How oh, do you know what they are? <laughs> Taste. <laughs> what are they? 
acids. What ones? Sulfuric. Yeah. I want I want to know exactly what you do, and if I'll be but if if it's boring, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I'm only joking. I've got COPD. <laughs> you manufacture what? The first chemical that makes PVC for right. So you're the very first bit of the windows. So that with, without you, it's cold. It's cold in the house. You're like, it's freezing in here. He's like, well, you shouldn't have called Matt a prick. Because now he's stopped producing the chemical that makes windows. So glass. Well, it's PVC. What's PVC? It's the plastic that goes on. Oh, round the outside. Oh, right. So the frame. So I could use wood. Still have windows. I could. What's it, what else it go into? Medical products. Bandages. No. Anything that's plastic. So you are plastic. You st <laughs> Without you, there's no plastic. Are you together? Do you get plastic banter a lot? <laughs> You're like, put a condom on. He's like, no, nah, I know where it's been. I know it's latex, mate. I was just doing a joke. Don't chemical. <laughs> Don't chemical shame me, mate. Where'd you meet? Are you in the plastic game as well? No. <laughs> Shit. What are you in? What's, what's, your, what's, what's your name? Emily. Hi, Emily. What do you do, Emily? I work for high service. Oh, sweet. In the control room. Oh, in the control room. Like, not... No, but you like did yourself down then. I was like, oh, in the fire service. And you were like, no, just in the control room. But that's like, without him, there's no windows. Without you, the firemen don't know where to go. They'll just be fucking driving around town. <laughs> going, I've heard there's a fire. <laughs> I can smell it. Can you smell that? And he's like, no, that is actually the first chemical that's in PVC. <laughs> Where'd you meet then? Did he phone up? I've set me windows alight. <laughs> when you were 17? How old are you now? Fuck, there's so many more dicks and minges out there though. <laughs> I mean, I'm made up for you because that is amazing. Give us a cheer if you're still with the person you were with when you were 17. Yeah, yeah it's rare, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> This guy! Who said yeah? You, how old are you? Uh, 29. Uh, how old are you, 30? Oh yeah, that's fucking fair dudes. Is it you two? No. Oh right, no, it's 2022 mate. Why are you fucking... <laughs> no. Absolutely not. <laughs> Weird that. Weird vibes that. I'm only joking. So it's why I, can't, I couldn't imagine it. How old are you? Yeah, you look 23, innit? <laughs> you look good, though. Who are you with? Um, sister and a boyfriend. Are you gutted about he's fucking smashed your Tash game there? <laughs> like, mate. <laughs> That's a little squirtle. He's got a full-on Blastoise Tash, innit? That's bear evolutions over yours. Yours is like the little one. Like it, Yours looks like you've just had some Yazoo. And like, but he's like full on, still doing Movember him. And you're hoping to do Movember 2031. Sick man, what's your name? Yeah. Jan Marco. Yeah, Jan Marco. That, what's your name? Uh, Lewis. Fucking nailed you in the name game now. Nah. <laughs> Fucking keep your tash shit name, Louis. Fucking Jan Marco with the Jan Marco pen on his face is fucking. There's <laughs> Jan Merck, you lad. So you, your siblings. What's your name? Yeah. Have we met? Were you shouting at me at the back? Oh, thank fuck for that. I was so racist then. <laughs> Are you Italian? Yeah. yeah, there was an Italian girl once shouting at me about like she didn't think I'd know where she was from, and I know where loads of people. I'm dead good at guessing where people are from. Do you remember it? No. 
Do you remember that? It was a gig in here and it went really weird because she was like, oh, you don't know where I'm going to be from. And I think I got it in like two and then she shut up. <laughs> and I was, I'm glad it wasn't you. I'm glad it wasn't you. I hated that woman. <laughs> she wouldn't be with someone with such a luscious tash <laughs> and a brother with a top lip so full of promise. <laughs> What'd you do, JM? Me. Yeah. Logistics manager. What's your surname? Really? Yeah. Manfredi. Good. No, because if it was something like Smith, because sometimes when people have got like, you know, like they're from like mixed heritage families and they've got like their mums give them their first name and then their dad's like from Wigan and he's called like Dunlop. <laughs> so you'd be like, Giordano Dunlop and it just sounds shit. But you've got both, which is sick. Like sometimes. Sometimes it's the other way, and someone's called like Gary Di Stefano. <laughs> but you've got both, man. Do you like him? It must be annoying knowing that if he did treat your sister bad, you couldn't do fuck all about it. <laughs> what are you gonna do, mate? Shave his tash at night? <laughs> he did the chainsaw though. You'd need a chainsaw for that. It's lovely though, man. What do you do, Lou? Uh, I'm in the fire service. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Not in control. I just drive around town. Oh, I was gonna say. Fucking hell, what month's the calendar? I'll buy that one. <laughs> it's got to be Movember, hasn't it? That's why. That's why you got to keep the tash. Because you're November. Uh, <laughs> you got your dick out on a calendar? <laughs> nah. Oh, thank oh. It's fucking, that's the only charity donation I was making. <laughs> and I meant money, not that donation. <laughs> that's Sweet, man. Well, uh, well. so where are you from? Salford. Salford. Oh, sweet. I've heard of it. <laughs> and what about you two? Yeah. Bolton. All right. I did a gig in Manchester, you know. I did a tour show there. You could have come to that. <laughs> it's a bit closer. It's nicer here, though. It was. What's mad is I've fucking booked this tour so bad. Like, so my Manchester show, it was Derby Day. Uh, and then Leeds, it was Leeds at home against Wolves in a must-win game, first home game for the new manager. And then this, fucking national weekend and the biggest game of the season. But who gives a fuck? Because you've all turned up and I appreciate it. And <laughs> Not everyone clapped there, that was weird. Um, <clears throat> do you want a flump? I know a guy. Did you know he was a fireman when you met him? Why was your house on fire? <laughs> That's good. That must be. How did you meet? Online? Have you been on apps? Together. Your mums work together. <laughs> what year is this? <laughs> and fucking, like, oh. Nah, just Tinder. Tinder. But not. But your mums do work together. Yeah. Oh shit! Is everything all right? <laughs> oh, thank fuck for that. <clears throat> so it was your mama and your mama Mia, um, <laughs> and they were. So you met on Tinder. That must be like fire. Like no pun intended. But Tinder game. If you say you're a fireman, bear matches, which is weird because that's what starts fires. <laughs> Plus. That many matches, you had to put them out, mate, isn't it? That's what it is. Because obviously Tinder is your worst. That's not what you want, really. You want an app called Douse or something like that. Because that's what you do, isn't it? You put them out. Yeah. You good on the pole? Good on the pole? Single story station. I have done. Single story station? No one wants that. Everyone only... No, right. Any fireman doesn't want to put out fires or get cats up trees or anything like that. They just want to go on the pole. <laughs> What's mad? Isn't it mad how you do a cracking job, but only between November the 4th and the 6th? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's just porn and pool, isn't it? It's just porn and pool. <laughs> right, so I'll let you know. I told you what was going on. I'm here, uh, and I'm going nowhere. And uh, I'm going <laughs> to get your first act on. 
uh, Molly, and then there's going to be a break straight after Molly, right? And then I'm going to come back and, and do some comedies as well. Uh, maybe. I might change my mind, you know. <laughs> could, I mean, it's possible. I could just be in there going, <sighs> I don't fancy it. They've, had a, they've laughed more than Lee's did. <laughs> That's enough for them. <laughs> and then just fuck off. <laughs> Go Pop World or something. By the way, I know that I've got the best pre-show on the, like, you might go to better tours with better comedy, but I don't think you'll hear better pre-show music. It's absolutely fire. Don't clap that. It's weird. I didn't write any of the songs or perform them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Pumping Up by Joe Budden is better than any comedy you will ever do. <laughs> so, uh, right, what I want is uh, you to make Molly feel welcome. Loads of noise. Whooping, cheering, clapping. That's what I want. We can make loads of noise in here. You did it when I come on. Do the same. Uh, Rich, you know, you can start the applause. There's going to be whooping, cheering, clapping, loads of fucking noise. For your first act is Molly McGillis. Make some noise, everyone else. Please welcome Molly McGillis. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the background's in your mouth. Yeah, woo, hello. Um, I just That's not a prop. I just brought that on. It looks like, oh, he's got, he's got a new bit with Marinda. No, it's just a bottle of pop. Um, give it up again for Molly McGuinness, everybody. You got bloated. Is that your second packet of flumps? You're not eating the flumps. You're just eating the cherries. No, I don't. Want Other people might want some flumps, though. Share your flumps out. No, shut up. Get your own flumps. <laughs> Uh, thanks for coming again. I appreciate it. Like I said, uh, this is my first. I've been dipping about the comedy circuit for fucking years now. Um, no, all right, mate. <laughs> Come to your first tour and just fucking throw bottles in buckets, shall I? Yeah, Sam. I'm only joking. <laughs> just do it again, though. Batter. You. I wish I was hard. I'm not even hard. I couldn't batter, you, but. He looks quite hard as well. In fact, let's just fuck the gig off and watch these fights. <laughs> Into that. Like women in love. Um, it's, it's quite an old reference, that. I don't know. <laughs> said, but thank you. Um, so, yeah, this is all my favourite bits. It might not be my best bits, but I don't care. It's my tour, so I'm doing all the bits I like doing. So you might have seen some of them before and that. Um, if you have, don't shout. Just speak to the wall in it. Don't shout out. Just keep, keep whispering and that. Um, how are you doing? Are you any less uh, homophobic in this section? Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to tell you about my hard life. I've had a hard life. <laughs> like, harder than you think. Like, I've had, like, a proper... Like, I was made redundant at 14. <laughs> like, genuinely. Like, I'm surprised I've turned out as level as I have, to be honest. That's quite, that's quite a hard thing for a 14 year old to deal with. Um, what happened was, I'll tell you what happened is, um, let's, I don't want to keep you longer than necessary. <laughs> uh, we've all got curries to eat after this. Mate, I'm having a fucking big curry after this. And because it's my one little day, and I'm proud of myself, I'm going to fucking let myself karate chop the poppadoms. I don't normally do that. Normally I have my own and then I just uh, dress it with the... <laughs> I'm fucking... Ah That's what's happening. Everyone's getting shards. Um, <coughs> there's always one dick that does it well and is uh, uh, that you? The Papa Dom chopper. The Chopper Dom. He's fucking... Ah! Like that, and everyone's like, oh. There's always one dick. You're like, Darren, I didn't want shards. Like, oh, you fucking got shards now. It's like Most of that's going to get lost in a chutney now, you dickhead. Um, so, I got made redundant at 14, right? And what I mean, like, basically what happened was is um, <laughs> the paper shop I worked at closed down. <laughs> I had a paper round, right? And I was good at it. And it was, I was proper good. And I loved my job. And it was like 12, 12 quid a week. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? Tory. <laughs> and... <laughs> And I got made redundant, man. But I did get a redundancy package. I got a, <laughs> I got a can of Pepsi Max. 
And this was like 98, so Pepsi Max wasn't long out, so it was still quite cool. And, um, and a Cadbury's Marble. Now, oh, yeah. Yes. The marble was such an elite... Like, if those shit things on the internet was about where you had to put things into tiers, like elite tier, god tier, marble was up the top, mate. It was fucking well good. You can still get them now. People don't know this, yeah? You can still get a marble in the year of our Lord, 2022. Um, all you need is a bar of dairy milk, a bar of white chocolate, and a pocket. And <laughs> if you... Uh, <laughs> you put all them together, go on a little drive... Got a little marble at the end, didn't it? I only got half redundancy, you know. Half package. All the other little pricks got full package, right? All the other paper boys. Full package was well better. Full package was... Yeah. Because it's, it's dairy milk and white chocolate. And because it melts, they, like, assimilate... And that's what a marble was. <laughs> and <laughs> and all the other all the other paper boys got full redundancy, which was celebrations. <laughs> tin of, <laughs> fucking tin of, right? That is a gift for life. <laughs> like if you get someone a tin or something, that's a gift forever, isn't it? Because the contents will go. The receptacle will remain forever. <laughs> you get someone a tin or something, it's there forever. Where's them fucking Allen keys? <laughs> Have a look in the celebrations tin. Where's the sewing kit? Have a look in the celebrations tin. Where's the punchline to this? <laughs> Have a little look in the celebrations tin. Because I haven't fucking got one. And then... And they were the good celebrations when they had the truffle. Yeah, so good, the truffle. Celebrations are shit now. <laughs> like the best ones, the bounty, and the bounty is shit. <laughs> the bounty is the second worst chocolate bar of all time. And do you know what the worst is? Dark chocolate bounty. <laughs> like, someone's gone, hey, this bounty is shit. <laughs> How can we make it worse? And someone's gone, let's do it exclusively for old people. <laughs> Fucking dark chocolate bounty. No chat, I hate bounties, man. I can't eat bounties without upsetting people for weeks after. Just walking past people going... <laughs> people are like, you fucking kissing your teeth at me? You're like, no, mate, I had a bounty a month ago. Fucking mouse like a coconut graveyard here. There's <laughs> nothing I can do. And the reason I got half redundo, right, is because someone had put a, a complaint in against me. And I fucking knew it was, right? It was a bad bell end on my round. <laughs> and Val, Val was the boss. It was called Val's Shop. And Val got me in the office one day. She was like, you, I want you in the office now. And I was like, Val, I'm dead flattered, but I'm 14, you know. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I know I'm looking sick and that with my popper pants on, but fucking, it was 98, I had the popper pants, I had the cool popper pants as well, the Adidas ones that popped all the way off. <laughs> Don't know if you know popper pants and that, but the Kappa ones, yeah, they were also popular, but they had a toggle, and you couldn't pop them all the way off, but the Adidas ones, <laughs> all the way off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My dad used to call them my wanking pants, because I could just fucking whip them off. <laughs> Like, I'd be upstairs and my dad would have his mates around and all you do is like... <laughs> people would be like, hey, has your Daniel got an octopus up there? What's that? <laughs> Sounds like suckers. He's like, nah, it's his wanking pants, isn't it? <laughs> so we had the wanking pants on. I thought Val was going to try and get him more wanking pants. <laughs> Pop them off. And she's like, nah, right? There's been a complaint. And I knew it was straight away. And I was like, I bet it's that fucking dickhead, isn't it? The posh prick. She's like, he was a posh prick as well. I hate posh pricks. I'm proper working class me. I've still got a chip pan. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know, innit? Anyone else still got a chip pan? 
Yeah, because you're scared because of this prick told you not to fucking have one. <laughs> fucking him. Oh, don't have a chip pan. It's not a chip pan's fault, is it? It's the dickheads throwing spuds in it. They were already wet. Just dab your spuds before you throw them in and it won't be chip pan fires. You can't blame chip pans or chip pan fires. It's like, bla you can't blame inanimate objects for shit like, it's like blaming hammers for Sutcliffe. You can't do it. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Fuck it, you can't have a warning on every hammer. Warning might be used by psychopaths in crimes. <laughs> do you know what else I feel sorry for because of that? Silica gel. <laughs> like one dickhead ate it once. And that was it. And then they've gone, oh, we're going to have to write do not eat on all the packages now. It's because of one greedy knobhead. <laughs> Silica gel was just chilling, drying out a handbag. <laughs> in a shoe. It didn't, it didn't want to be consumed. Now he's got tattoo for the rest of his life. It's annoying. So yeah, I'm like, oh, he's a dickhead him. Fucking knob. She's like, yeah, well, I'm going to have to dock your wages, isn't it? And I was like, it's fucking shit, that Val. And I left the vape shop, put my bag on, and I got on my bike, and I snicked it into eighth, and I rode off, right? <laughs> <clears throat> what? I had a 15-gear grip shift Shimano <laughs> bad man thing, right? Little carton of pop in the back. Think I was on a motorbike. Stop me. <laughs> and I was doing my round, and I got to his house. Posh prick, right? His drive was massive as well. Like, it was like 12 foot. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. <laughs> Upperlands. And like, what was mad is I was walking up and I was thinking about, like, I, when I was walking up ready to do a delivery, I'm always thinking about my style and that. Because I told you, I fucking loved paperboying, right? And my dream was to like, get scouted. <laughs> and go and be a paper boy in America. It's fucking easy over there. They don't even have to put it through the letterbox, they just launch it. It's like fucking boom, the wages are better, the weather's better. So in my head, right, I was gonna put the, I was just gonna do that, and then the fucking, the paper scout was gonna see me and pop out the bush and like talk to me in American about how he was gonna, I don't, I can't do accents, but he was like, gee, mister. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do accents. <laughs> He's gonna be like, gee, mister. Use this one damn fine paper boy. <laughs> Why don't you come with me to the, to the good old US of A and make a living by being a paper boy over there. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, man, that sounds sick. Get me on the plane. Just throwing them papers for the rest of my life. <laughs> By the way, scouting's so weird. Like, if you ever want to, like, <laughs> mess a kid's life up legally. <laughs> like, low-level. Low-level mind games, right? All you need to do, if you live around here, go Sports Direct, yeah? And get, like, a Liverpool coat or an Everton coat. Yes, mate. <laughs> and then get a fucking notepad and go and watch the under-12s and watch them fucking run, mate. <laughs> they proper think you're a scout, in it. It's fucking amazing. And then if there's one you don't like, probably the little cunt with the yellow boots, yeah? <laughs> Showing out, doing sues and all that. Sweet. When he does a shit pass, just like shake your head and put an imaginary like... Fucking parents looking at you like, thanks, dickhead. <laughs> Fucking got to go pizza at buffet on the way home now. <laughs> well, unlucky because it's not open Sundays, is it? <laughs> also, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I think pizza got rid of the buffets now. So, <laughs> R.I.P. Rest in pizza, mate. I don't know. I don't know. If... Is it? Can anyone? Can anyone? Is it gone? 
They're back. Oh, why are we here? <laughs> Fuck are we doing here? We could pretend we don't want salad, but sneaking it on. <laughs> so what happened? I roll my paper up, yeah? And I'm just about to deliver it. And the fucking guy opens the door. And he's like, I want a word with you. And I was like, mate, I'll tell you what I told Val, I'm flattered, but I'm 14. <laughs> and I just like rolled my popper pants up. Because I worked out you could pop them all the way off, but if you did two rolls at the top, you couldn't pop them all the way off. They had to roll down first. <laughs> and he's like, no, dead posh, posh cunt. <laughs> I hate posh people, mate. <laughs> like, this is how working class I am, right? It wasn't until the age of 12 that I realised that pens were that big. Because growing up... I'm not even joking. Like, Growing up, the only pens we had in the house were from Argos and the Bookies. Didn't know how fucking Bic was. <laughs> First day of high school, I came home and I was like, I was big school. I was like, it's fucking massive, Jim. <laughs> the pens is twice the size. <laughs> Won't fit in my lilt pencil case. <laughs> Wasn't even lilt either. It was like Vive from Aldi. It was like, that's how poor we were. I couldn't even afford like proper drinks pencil cases. Vive. It wouldn't even fit in a Vive. <laughs> Is it Vive? I think it's Vive. What's Aldi's lilt called? I think it's Vive. Look at you all pretending you don't go Aldi. <laughs> Here's Vive. Thanks, man. Cheers for that, man. <laughs> so he's like, no, I need to have a word with you. And I was like, what? what? And he's like, every time you put a paper through this little box, <laughs> It makes a terrible mess on my carpet. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is that why you've complained? Get a bigger mat. And he's like, what? I was like, get a bigger mat and it won't go on the carpet. And stop ordering fucking bare papers with loads of supplements in and that. Holidays no one wants to go on. Bread no one wants to bake. And he's like, no. I was like, well, get a bigger mat. Or, mate, get 17 mats, yeah? Go B&M and fucking stack them up so they sit directly under the letterbox. <laughs> and then when I put it through, it'll just sit there, innit? And you can get it at your leisure. <laughs> and he was like, don't you mean leisure? I was like, nah, I'm trying to do this American thing, innit? <laughs> leisure now. And he's like, no, well, I've put a complaint in. I was like, I know you have your dickhead. I'm watching you, yeah? I'll get you. <laughs> I'll fucking get you one day. <laughs> <laughs> and I just walked off, right? And I got on my bike and I snicked it into 13 from Bombed Off. <clears throat> you might be thinking, why the five gear differential there? <laughs> it's just different terrain. <laughs> like, there's not going to be like loads of jokes for everything. Like, it's just literally using the gears for what they were for. <laughs> Soz, I can't help you there. And I just went about my life. That was the end, I'd forgotten all about it. <laughs> I just told him to get a bigger mat and fucked off, right? And then just like carried on living my life, innit? Started doing comedy, I do nice gigs, I do shit gigs. Not here, it's lovely, I do some ropey gigs though. I like them though, I like sketchy gaffs me. Like I like it when like the gig's like a room above a pub and the stage is a pallet. And like, there's loads of gappy faces, like no teeth and that. They're my people, I love that shit. I like places like Gulliver's World, me. <laughs> nah, I do. Like, you might have heard me tell you before, I fucking love Gulliver's. If you don't know about Gulliver's, it's a theme park in Warrington and I'm pretty sure that the theme is poverty. <laughs> like, it's mad. It's mad how shit is. It's like someone's done a theme park with a 50 pound Wix gift voucher. <laughs> I love it. Proper council. Teacup ride is mugs. <laughs> like, you know, you go to a proper place and the teacup ride is a tea set and it all matches. Not a Gulliver's, mate. It's like a staff room sink. <laughs> Just 
bare random mugs. Like, there's one with like a chip in it. There's one with a coffee ring. There's a fucking world's greatest dad mug. No one near that. All the fucking world's greatest dads are at Thorpe Park, aren't they? They're not going to Gulliver's World on their alternate Tuesday. <laughs> Sports Direct mug, 19 kids in it. <laughs> Massive. All scrambling and fighting. Fighting over the rope ladder. Get us out, Mum, can I get out? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm having a bit of peace. You stay in the cup and you fight. <laughs> Shit rides, man. Roller coaster. They give you a coaster. <laughs> and you fucking roll it. That is all that's going on. I like that shit, though. Sometimes you go places it's too good. Like the zoo. Like, I like shit zoos, me. I'm a member of Chester Zoo. You might have seen it recently when the monkey smashed the seagull's head in. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh, mate, Google it after this. Fucking monkey gripped a seagull, just battered its head in on a pole, like, mm, mm. and do you know what, mate? No one give a shit. They didn't, did they? Because it was a seagull. If that was any other bird, if he'd have gripped a peregrine falcon, people would be like, oh, monkey. Let the falcon go, man. Have you not seen Kez? Just let the falcon go, it's done nothing to you, monkey. But because it was a seagull, everyone was like, fucking smash it's head in, monkey lad. I dare you to nick my chips again, you little prick. You fucking swooped your last pasty. It was like, boom. Like, I think Chester Zoo's like, as a zoo, I think they care too much about the animals. For it to be a good zoo. Like, the best zoos are when they don't really care and you can go dead close to the animals. I know there's people in who's like, oh, like, you might be vegan and that. I don't, like, that's cool if you are. You're better than me. I wish I could be vegan. I do. Is there any vegans in because of cheer? Right, not as many. I, the only reason I can't be vegan, I think, is the shoes. <laughs> yeah, because the leather, I couldn't wear, like, Imagine, like, oh, you can't eat meat and you have to wear Toms. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, mate. Fuck a Tom, mate. <laughs> Toms are so bad. It's like the second worst shoe, isn't it? Dark chocolate Toms, they're the worst shoes. <laughs> but other than that, Toms are so bad. Like, what's annoying as well is you can't really take the piss out of a Tom without someone who cares about the world giving you some shit, because Tom's are actually a good company. Like, so if you, you know about Tom's, right? So you know if you buy some Tom's, they will give some shoes to someone who doesn't have shoes, which is great, isn't it? If it wasn't more Tom's. <laughs> Fucking putting Tom's all out, you're just making the third world look worse. If that was me and I had no shoes, mate, and they were like, hey, you got no shoes? I was like, nah, mate, I got no shoes. And they were like, do you want some shoes? I was like, fuck, it is right, give us some. <laughs> is it them? <laughs> what, es, 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 per what? Es, es, es per drills. With the cork sole and that. And it... Mate, I think I'm all right with these bottles, you know. And then... <laughs> and then I'd just crunch off me, like... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'd just crunch off elsewhere. Oh, that's what I'd do. Does that tickle? Yeah. <laughs> Crunch up. It's what my next show's called, Crunch Off. Just, you're not allowed in if you call Tom. <clears throat> so, 
I am a shoe snob. Like I'm looking at the webs. It's all right. What? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good webs, them. <laughs> she got thumbs on. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate shit shoes, mate. Like, I went on a date with a girl and she showed up in arguably the worst, worse than the Tom, actually. Like, the worst shoe ever. She showed up in <laughs> the slip on Velcro Lonsdale, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On a date, though, in the Lonsies. The Taekwondo ones as well, the Taekwondsdales. <laughs> Showing up in the Taekwondsdales. Like, so bad. And she was like, oh, what are we going to do on a date? And I was like, should we go bowling? And I, and I took a bowling. I took a bowling so I wouldn't have to look at the shoes. It was it all the bouncy castles were shut. There was no flip out back then, so it was bowling. <laughs> Lonsdales are the the stoat in it. Like you know the goat is they're the stoat. They're the shittest trainers of all time. Like they're so bad. Like I tried to make a leave before she got her own shoes back at the end. I was like, oh, we need to go. And she's like, I need to get my shoes. I was like, if you run out in them, you're in profit, you know. <laughs> Them clown bowlers there, they're worth about 17 quid. Them Lonsies, they're £3.50 from Mike Ashley's. <laughs> I was at the zoo, right? I'm, this is why I'm done with the zoo. They care too much. They put leaves in and like twigs and that. <laughs> like I said, the best zoo is like whatever they're in, say it's tanks, and then it's just white paper behind it. And then you go, yep. That is that is that black paper polar bear that is that. I don't want to be looking for fucking ages to see these animals, right? <laughs> fucking 17 minutes to see a lizard that wasn't even a chameleon. I'm not having it. Like I'll give you, I'll give you 10 minutes of my time to see a chameleon. It's a challenge. I like it. They famous. They blend in and that. It's a little challenge. I'm not. It's, it's, it was a gecko. It's a four-minute lizard. I looked at it that long, like it was fucking Where's Wally. I had to do that technique. You know when you can't see a Where's Wally normally? So you're like, right, I'm going to have to cheat. So you start in the top left and you just do that. <laughs> and you fucking space invaders the whole thing, like. <laughs> Couldn't see the cunt. So I get, I get the zoo man over. I'm like, hey, zoo man. And he's like, what? I was like, your zoo's broke. Your zoo's well broke, you know? And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, 17 minutes, lizard, not even chameleon and that. He's like, where are you looking? I was like, in here. And he's like, yeah, but you know that's also his house. I was like, well, get him out of the fucking kitchen. <laughs> Can't see him. Get him out of the kitchen now. And he's like, what do you mean? That's his house. That's where he lives as well. And I was like, yeah, but it's fucking 28 quid. <laughs> Tell him to fucking save up and live in a gated community if you don't want anyone looking in his fucking windows. If that was me, mate, and you paid 28 quid to come around my house, the least I'll do is I'll be in the front room for you. <laughs> Can't be like, oh, 28 quid, come round and be hiding behind the couch. I'll be on the couch. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Hey, you want to go see the fucking state of theirs next door? Go and have a look. <laughs> Lego everywhere. <laughs> what won't happen is you'll come round and my dad will be like, oh, I'm sorry, it's raining. He's in his bed. Made it sound like I live with my dad there. I don't, for 38. Um, he was round putting a shelf up. That's why, in that story, that's why he was there. Um, sounds like I can't put a shelf up. It was a floating shelf, right? <laughs> They're hard to put up. How'd you put them up? You ever put a floating shelf up? 
I imagine it's like when you know you put a crown on a tooth, like you put the pegs in and then you put it over the top. Oh yeah, comedy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with zoos now. <laughs> Wash my hands at a zoo. I go to uh, city farms. Now, I should have knew. I should have knew. Go to like sketchy gaffs. Like I said, that's always my thing, the sketchy gaff. So there's a city farm near me. You might have been. Uh, it's, it's just over the border in North Wales. It's called Green Acres Animal Park, right? Have you been? It's fire, isn't it? Basically, a city farm is just a farm with an alpaca or a llama. <laughs> Normally, I just say llama in case it's like an old racist thing. It's like, yeah, I fucking hate them. You're like, no, nah, I didn't say that, though. <clears throat> Why are you paying to see them? <clears throat> There's one, Green Acres, what it is, right? What Green Acres is, it's a farm. And I think he's had four numbers and a bonus. <laughs> or like... <laughs> and he's just bought some beak and just smashed it and gone, mate, I'm going to do a zoo, me. <laughs> you know, when beakheads start businesses, he's like, mate, I'm doing a zoo, me. <laughs> and his mate's gone, Dave, 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 let's not do zoos, man. Let's not do zoos. Let's do what normal 50-year-old men do when they get a bit of money and open up a vape shop. <laughs> There's easier ways to learn the money. Look at the vape shop. Everyone here has been near a vape shop, never seen any fucker in a vape shop, mate. <laughs> Just some old guy in a beard sat in his own fucking watermelon steam like, oh. <laughs> if I blow enough steam, the tax man will never know. <laughs> and he's like, no, I want to do a zoo me. Get on the internet. Get me some animals. It's my dream. <laughs> and he's like, what do you want? He's like, wolf. And he's like, what, from gladiators? He's like, nah, wolf. <laughs> Proper wolf. We're not going to get Michael Van Wyk. He's 68, lives in New Zealand. <laughs> We're not going to get him. I want a wolf. He's like, we're not going to get a fucking wolf, mate. They're too big. They're bigger than you think. He's like, well, what can you get me? He's like, I've looked on Marketplace. There's a husky. <laughs> He's like, get the husky then. We'll just make everything in the cage littler. <laughs> it worked on Game of Thrones. People will think it's a wolf. He's like, all right. He's like, what else do you want? He's like, crocodile. He's like, you're not going to get that. And he's like, alligator. And he's like, nah. And he's like, what if I cut the crocodile off me Lacoste? And I just stick it in the back of the tank so they think it's a crocodile far away. <laughs> and he's like, no. He's like, I might be able to get you a caiman. And he's like, what's that? He's like, it's like a crocodile that never moves. <laughs> They've got them at Blue Planet. You think they're plastic. They just stare you out. And he's like, well, where'd you get them from? He's like, the Amazon. He's like, sound, I've got prime. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not what I said. The Amazon. <laughs> and he's like, how long will that take? He's like, ages. He's like, where are you going to put it though? He's like, don't worry. I've fucking been on group on me. I've got, I've got a hot tub. <laughs> Have you been? You've been? You see the, see the crocodile in the hot tub? Fucking mad. This was before the energy scare as well. So he hasn't even put the bubbles on. <laughs> like now there's defo no bubbles. But back then he should have given the little fucker some bubbles, man. He's come all that way. He's just lying there like Biggie in the Juicy video. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> horrible. <laughs> The best bit about Green Acres is the snakes. I love snakes, me. J'adore la serpent. Um, J'adore la serpent. You didn't think I spoke French? Yeah, I speak French, me. Un petit français. Uh, got a bay, J-C-S-A. Uh, I know une sentence. Une sentence en français. I'll give you it now. <coughs> Gee, miss, no. Je suis de soleil. Je une araignée. There you go. That roughly translates to I am sorry, I am a spider. <laughs> Don't know when I'm going to need it, but I've got it if I ever do. Someone comes in and goes, Daniel, why can't you get out of the bath? I'll be like, ah. 
Fucking. How long do you want the answer in there? Because man's got do. So j'adore la serpent. But the trouble is, right, the serpent bit at Green Acres Animal Park's at the end, and I think they've run out of d'argent. <laughs> before they've done the serpent bit. So, not a normal, right, so a snake tank, yeah, the snake tank, yeah, or vivarium, if you're a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trusting you if you keep snakes, by the way. <laughs> vivarium, normally, catricides <laughs> of, of gl glass. No, I know it's not glass, it's, uh, it's vert, isn't it? Vert is glass in French, and it's also green, which is cool, because in France they've got words that sound the same, like vert and vert, which is it's why, it's why I poisoned the guy with that fish. Am I right? Poisson et poisson. So, quatre sides, un, deux, trois, quatre. Not at Green Acres, no, no. Uh, tw twa. Twa sides. Un, deux, twa. No catra. So they've built out from the wall, across and back into the wall. Trouble is, they've left everything on the wall that was previously on the wall. So I've looked it up. It's the only snake tank in Britain with a dado rail. <laughs> Full dado. <laughs> Full dado. Double plug socket, both on. <laughs> both switched on. That is très dangereux pour le serpent. Because he's going to lick it. Snake's an inquisitive bit like that. And then he's zzz, fucking boa conductor, dead. <laughs> then I have to go back the next day. And I'm like, Dave, où est le serpent? And he's like, what the fuck are you on about? What's that? I was like, swears a snake in French that day. <laughs> he's like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, mm, seven extra laughs. <laughs> Wheat. <laughs> Nerf. <laughs> dicks. Um, <clears throat> I know it's D's, but it's funny if I call you all dicks, isn't it? Sorry. <clears throat> and Dave's like, the serpent is gone. And I was like, dead? He's like, no, le serpent say not more. <laughs> and I was like, I thought he didn't speak French. He's like, I'm oh, pretty, I got a D. <laughs> and I was like, well, if the snake's gone then, Dave, I'm gone. Because I only, you know I only come for le serpent. I don't come for the fucking little wolf. <laughs> or the owl with one eye. <laughs> the sword. Put a fucking wing mirror on the owl. <laughs> so he doesn't have to turn his head, he just has a little look in the wing mirror like that. It's like <laughs> fucking poor owl can't turn his head. Just checks his mirrors. It's got a blind spot. And he's like, whoa, what do you mean? I was like, I want my lifetime membership back, mate. My four pound ninety-five, gives that. And he's like, no, 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 because as per the T's and C's, yeah. If an animal leaves, I don't have to refund you if we replace that with an animal of equal length or weight. And I've done that. And I'm like, fuck off, Dave, where's this animal? He's like, shh, it's very rare. So in fact, you should be probably giving me more money because this is a well better animal. Never seen one of these ever in the wild or in captivity. And I was like, where the fuck is it? He's like, there. And I was like, what's that? And he's like, um, electric eel, land one, land electric eel. <laughs> electric land eel, look at the markings. I was like, that's singeing, you fucking prick. That's the same snake with no eyebrows, what are you doing? <laughs> Fucking show me the pretty wolf now. <laughs> Still a member there though, you can't, can't. Have you ever been? Coming tomorrow, me and you. <laughs> you up for that? We could do that. You're working tomorrow. When you off? Ah, <laughs> oh, sound, okay, cool, 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 cool. The worst thing about Gulliver is that we have to take a packed lunch. The food shit, <laughs> horrible. And I'm a fussy eater. I know I don't look like a fussy eater, but I am a fussy eater. I ain't got the physique of a fussy eater. I got tits and that. Cool with it. <laughs> cool with it.
cool with my tits? What I'm not cool with is the type of tits I got. Because as a man, right, if you've got any tits, everyone says you just got man tits. <laughs> oh, look at your man tits. And I haven't. I wish I had. I fucking love some man tits, me. Man tits are sick. You get to go cool places. Like, you get like a Giacomo code or you get like 20% off. <coughs> you get to go William Hill on a Wednesday before it opens. <laughs> Just get on a roulette before anyone else. I haven't got tits though, man tits, proper tits. I hate it. I look in the mirror. You know, I've got year nine netball tits. That's what I've got. <laughs> it's fucking shit. Little PG tits, pyramid bag fucking... Sports bra, gold defense tits, I hate it. Pivot tits. <laughs> Fussy, you know, loads of stuff I don't eat. Don't eat fish, don't eat cheese, don't eat egg. Like, I eat Haribo egg. <laughs> and I eat Easter egg. But I don't eat egg. Je déteste les oeufs. <laughs> I eat meat, but not loads of meat. Like, I'm fussy with meat. Like, I only eat meat on, uh, like off the bone. I don't eat meat on the bone. I don't eat dark meat. Check this out, by the way, Liverpool. I'm told when I say this next sentence, I sound scouse. It's the only time I ever sound scouse, right? So I don't eat dark meat. I don't eat leg meat. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I can't not say it like that either, leg meat. Oh, that's weird. So don't eat leg meat. I only eat breast meat. And you got to cut that like snotty bit off the chicken breast. You know, that little snotty bit on the side. Got to cut that off. I only eat fillet steak. If, you, if I do like sirloin or something, I've got to cut the fat off, but with scissors. Like proper butcher scissors as well. Not them fucking yellow and green left-handed scissors. Like proper, <laughs> proper scissors. The most fussy thing, right, is I don't eat other people's food that they've made for me. Weird that, innit? Like, if you've made me food, I'm not eating it. <laughs> like, if you invite me around for tea, or dinner, if you're from Southport, <laughs> and <coughs> I'm not coming. And it's not because, like, I don't like you and that. I just don't, I don't want to eat your food. Because you're not as good a cook as you think you are. <laughs> None of you are. You're all quite shit. And it's not your fault. It's cooking show's faults, right? Because cooking shows have been around for so long. It's like the, the oldest genre of... Uh, that was just English, by the way, but some words are French as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the oldest genre of TV show. They've cooked everything. So now if you watch a cooking show like a contemporary one, they're always trying to do something that hasn't been done before, like swaz it up. So they'll put, like, treacle on the beef... Shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Like they do. There was a time people were putting coffee in lasagna, which is fucking bizarre. I've got a mate who does it. He's a dick splash. He's always like, oh, you're coming round for tea. I'm like, no, not with you. And he's like, why? I was like, because you fuck with the food. And he's like, no, I swaz it up. And I was like, you fuck with the food, mate. Yeah? And he's like, no. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, well, last time I came round, bro, you made a stew. You put half a packet of Tang Fastics in it. What are you doing? <laughs> fuck are you doing? You're a dickhead. You still put chocolate in chili? What are you doing? And he's like, no, Heston does it. It's like, Heston did it once, mate. And he used 95% cocoa green and black chocolate. I saw you doing it the other day and you were fucking crumbling in a whisper like an oxo. What are you... What are you doing? There's a gold. You can't crumble caramel. It's fucking physics. You're not bad. I'm not coming. I'm not coming around your house. Like, I genuinely think, like, if I'm ever in one of them plane crash fucking yellow jackets, like, alive situations, I ain't... I want to blow up me. I don't want to survive on the fucking island in case I have to... You know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, what's up with you? I'm like, I'm dead hungry, innit? <laughs> and then someone will be like... I'm like, what are you looking at? And they'll be like, Paul. <laughs> like, why the fuck are you looking at Paul? I'll be like, he's dead, isn't he? I know he's dead, I heard him screaming, and I've got his iPad shut up. <laughs> There's 4% battery left. <laughs> the fuck do you want me to do with that? He's like, well, if you, you're dead, isn't he? So you, if you want to survive, you might have to eat his leg. It's like, mate, I can't even eat his fucking bolognese. <laughs> he 
puts rosemary in it. Dried rosemary as well, not even fresh rosemary. He's a dick splash. I'm glad he's gone. I genuinely think if it was the zombie apocalypse, I'd be the only zombie ever to starve. Like, fussy, I'd be like... <laughs> What's your favourite food, Matt? That's <laughs> good, that was good. I like bread meat. Do you like bread? Bread's the best food, isn't it? Out of all the foods. I fucking love bread meat. No, I love bread I love bread meat. You're not even fat, is that why you won't take your coat off? Shy. <laughs> You're not fat, man. You look good. Get on a bread later with me. I love bread. <laughs> I eat all breads me. I love breads, me. Fucking love bread. This is how much I love bread, right? I don't believe in reincarnation, but if it's true, I hope I come back as a duck. <laughs> what a life that is! It's fucking chilling on the river. They bring it and throw it near your neck. Is that what? No predators to speak of as a duck. The only thing you have to worry about is those like plastic things that keep six packs of beer together. The little things that keep the tiskies together, you don't need, like, if you get caught in that as well, you don't have to worry, you just give someone from Blue Peter a bell, they come and cut you out. <laughs> Spoke to my mate, he was like, hey, you want to go church, you? I started going to church just for the bread. How mad's that? They give it you. They have a bread bit. I know me and Molly talk about it. That's why I put her on. I was like, hey, that's where we met. <laughs> bread Anonymous. And I didn't know either. And Molly was like, hey, you want to go to church? And I was like, I don't, Molly. It's my least favorite house of worship. <laughs> no, it is. Like, I prefer, like, I prefer temple. I prefer mosque to church. They're all better. They care more. It's cold in church, not cold in a mosque and that. No, it isn't. You take your shoes off. It's warm. <laughs> no, it's cooler. It's better. Temple's better. It's, I hate church. It's old shit. And he's like, you get free bread. I was like, I'll see you there at 11 then. <laughs> and I went. And I went with a bag. Because <laughs> I thought I could just fill me bag and fuck off. NGL. And it's shit. It's rubbish. They do church shit. They do the bread in the middle. So you can't just go and get your bread. <laughs> fuck off. They keep you there, doing church stuff. They've got mad names for everything. So they start, they do singing. But they don't, because it's church, they've got church names, they don't call it singing. They call it hymners. <laughs> hymners. And what a hymners is, is they shout out a number, and you find it in a book, sing it back, right? It's like bingo and singing mixed. Do they call it singo? Do they fuck? I genuinely think more people would go if they were telling you it was fucking singo. It sounds lit. Don't it sound lit? Oh, go. Oh, fucking right I am, mate, yeah? Won a tenner last week, walking the light came on. Boom. House of God. Then after hymners, it's the bread bit. Thank you, that's why I'm there. <laughs> Thank you. They don't call it the bread bit. Like I said, they've got church names in it, so it's called communion. <laughs> and mate, if there's any doubt why anyone's at church, <laughs> you, you want to see the cues when they shout communion, mate. <laughs> Everyone's up. Proper queuing like Black Friday. Everyone's in the queue. <laughs> it's fucking shit. Everyone queuing up. You don't get out of the mosque. Shit shoes everywhere, you don't get that in the mosque. The mosque's better. The bread shit. Church bread shit. But I'm not... Mama don't raise no fool. <laughs> what I've worked out is if you go to spa, before you go church, you get some Dairy Lee Lunchables. <laughs> and if you throw the crackers away, you can make little God ham butties. <laughs> I mean, granted, you don't get that at the mosque.
If you're feeling continental, put the cheese on. Un croque, monsieur. T'es Jésus. <laughs> shit bread, though. Like Molly said, it is shit. That's why's it up. When you get the kamuni on as well, <laughs> there's two ways in which to receive the kamuni on. And one is horrible. <laughs> one is fine. That. Thanks, mate. And then you get it in your hand, and then you go to the back of the queue, fake moustache. Another one. <laughs> if I'm out of bed, I'm getting the bread. That's my, that's my little motto. But the other one is horrible, Matt. Like, there's always a lady doing it. There's like 109. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> like, even the guy in the collar that MCs the gig is like, oh... Fucking hell, Maureen, shut your mouth, mate. <laughs> Can smell the war. <laughs> shut your war mouth, Mo. <laughs> Who still eats corned beef? Why have you got corned beef, bro? <laughs> Leaning in like that, like uh, fucking Liam Gallagher in a wolf fleece. The best thing about church is uh, it's the Lord's Prayer. You may know it as Our Father. It's his best track, that. <laughs> nah, it's his best one. It's his big hit, innit? That's his umbop. <laughs> That's defo his umbop. I mean, he's got some good B-sides, granted. <laughs> <laughs> Beer bottles everywhere. You don't get that in a mosque. Um, <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Our Father's his best track. He's done some B-sides. Hail Mary slaps in the right room. <laughs> Our Father, unadulterated banger all the time. Boom, boom, boom. Whenever it comes on. Oh, I love it. Mate, I get hype when I hear it. <laughs> hype, though. Like, when I'm here, right. When I hear the first line of it, what? What's up with it? No, it's fine, isn't it? No. Are you sure? It's crackling. All oh, right. I mean, did anyone else hear it crackling? <laughs> oh, Bincy did. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> it's not the only crackling, is it? Over time, everybody doing his job, <laughs> trying to do his job, and me giving him shit. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been that. Was it that? I think it might just be this. My stub. <laughs> it's my monobrow, isn't it? I love the Lord's Prayer, though. <laughs> Can you open up? Can you open up for me? It's twist top. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Mate, I bet you're dead handy on them fires. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not going near that. It'll singe me tash. <laughs> Imagine if I just smashed it now though, like, because I'm dead strong and it wasn't really screwed up. It was screwed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I know I don't speak Arabic, but that... <laughs> but that arrow is pretty suggests that you just turn it. Do you want another go? <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, don't do banter. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> where are you, Bolton? Salford, right? So that is that where your station is? 
In Salford, right, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> just remind me to just fucking run to the well with a bucket. <laughs> instead of fucking phoning you. Your cat's up trees, you in it, that's your job. <laughs> Hiya, mate, you alright? The best pee ever. Mate, you should have seen him struggle to open a bottle. <laughs> so, our father, yeah, I remember it. <coughs> I love it. Do you know why I love it? What's better than bread? Daily bread, exactly, right? <laughs> <coughs> I love that line. I love the line. When I hear the first line of Our Father, I get hype, like I said. Like, it's like, mate, I react in the same way when I hear the first line of Our Father, like some of you might react when you're at a wedding and you hear, diddy da 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 <laughs> You're just like, you're like, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maureen! I mean, I don't like, the, I only like the bread line. I don't like the rest of the prayer. Like, lyrically, it's very similar to that Desiree song where she rhymed toast with ghost. <laughs> like, it's quite shit. It's like, our father does art in heaven. I don't know why, better pens, isn't it? Probably better pens. <laughs> He's probably got the eight-way bit click with the pinks and the purples, not just the green, the red, the black, and the blue. <laughs> then it's like, Harold is his name. And then it's like kingdom come, which is funny, you get to see old people say come in it, you're like, ah! <laughs> Not for years, Maureen, with that breath. <laughs> then it's the bread bit, give us this day our daily bread, I'm like, whoop whoop! <laughs> then I leave. I just get off, I don't know what a trespass is. Fuck's a trespass? Um, when I was a kid, I thought the line, forgive us our trespasses, meant forgive those people who couldn't afford good fleeces. <laughs> So they had to get them trespass ones from Millets. <laughs> forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who can't afford no face. <laughs> <clears throat> so, when I was a kid, right, I started getting on the ale. Like, that's when I... I did, I started getting proper on it, mate, yeah? And I was getting smashed up. And I used to just go out and just get wrecked. Have you ever been wrecked? Have you ever done, have you ever done a drink? <laughs> I was smashed, me. I used to go out. <sighs> Everyone all right? <laughs> How old are you? 29, you look good on it, man. <laughs> How old did you think he was? He looks like Tom Selleck. <laughs> I think they're just seeing the... Are you 29 or 2999? Because <laughs> he's a... <laughs> Tom Selleck. He doesn't. He's just got a moustache. Not everyone with a moustache looks like Tom Selleck. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go. Done ages. <clears throat> it's because I've had a hard life, right? Used to get wrecked. Used to get wrecked all the time. Proper wrecked up. Have you ever been drunk? Have you ever been so pissed you looked down at your feet, you thought they were catfish? <laughs> then you just realised you had your sock on inside out and it was them two little bits of string. Look like whiskers, and you're like, hey, catfish! <laughs> Chat poisson! <laughs> and one thing I'm not fussy about, right, is kebabs. I love chips, I love, love kebab shop food, right? And one night, I was fucking smooshed up, mate. Me head was in real. Been fucking top floor roses listening to all the shit you were listening to in the pre show. <laughs> Trying to pull girls by singing at them. <laughs> what would I be without you? <laughs> Only think about you. 
top and lonely. Baby girl, put it on me. And then if she turned around and was like, what would I be without my baby? And be like, mm, it's like mating ritual. And I was in the Caspian about four, right? Late, they were just shutting up. I stumbled in there. They know me in there, right? They let me in. I used to get free chips from the Caspian because they thought I was from Iran. <laughs> I'm not even joking. He was like, you from Iran? I was like, what? He's like, free chips? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'll be from fucking Russia for free chips, mate. <laughs> I'll be from anywhere. Free chips. I'll be from fucking 1939 Germany. <laughs> Give me the free chips. <laughs> I'm quite racially ambiguous. I've got like a weird like face where you, people always guess where my heritage is from. And no one ever gets it right. I don't even really know. It's like people just guess, are you from there? Are you from there? I don't genu I genuinely don't know, right? Um, what it is, I found out, um, is... I, right, I'm from Chester. I don't know if you've been. I was the darkest kid in my primary school. I'm not even joking. I used to get bullied at school, right? Because my primary school looked like fucking Norway under nines badminton team. <laughs> Chester's so shit, it's so white. No one in Chester knows what a fucking Labara mobile SIM card is. I have to drive three miles for a fucking can of Rio. It's wank. And everyone's fucking, oh, it's horrible. I used to get bullied at school by all the little pricks and I'd go crying to my mum. And I'd be like, eh. she'd be like, what's up now? And I'd be like, Sven Toddison <laughs> is calling me names. <laughs> Why? Why don't I look the same? And I didn't know, I was only young. And my mum told me why, right? So my mum's granddad is black. And I didn't know that until I was getting bullied at school. And then it turns out, my mum said something really weird. And I don't think you should have a fraction race. But my mum went, that's, so that means Daniel, you're a 16th. <laughs> and I'm thinking, technically I'm a 16th, but I don't see what, it, I'm a, obviously a white man. Do you know what I mean? I'm not flexing with my 16th. I'm not turning up going, no, mate, it's cool, I'm a 16th, I can sing all of these ludicrous lyrics, you know? <laughs> yeah, mate, don't worry about that. It's bullshit. I don't get it. I'm still very much a white man. Like, a 16th is, this is, what I, this is how I used to get it, right? Because I'm such just a fucking boring, shit white man that this is how I mean a 16th, right? I've got. Maybe in a 16th, it's like if you put a 16th of Vimto in a fucking big glass of water, right? <laughs> you would get me, which is a tiny, 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 tiny smidgen of the colour, absolutely none of the fucking flavour. And that is me. <laughs> so I don't know why I am. And I was in, I'm not from Iran though, but I'm not telling Mo in the Caspian. <laughs> and I went in there and he was like, there's no chips. And I was like, for fuck's sake, Mo. I only come for the chips, man, and to chat about the homeland. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what about it? I was like, season one had one of the best openings I've ever seen. I think, I think Damien Lewis is a great actor. <laughs> and he's like, well, what do you want? And I was like, I had this idea. I went, you know what I love? What have you got left? And he's like, Donna meat. I was like, all of it. How much is there? And he's like, loads. I was like, I'll have it all. Is that all right? From Iran, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like, do you want it wrapped? I was like, nah, I'll put it open. <laughs> and he's like, what sauce do you want? I was like, the smelliest one. <laughs> and the stainiest one. And he's like, what else do you want? I was like, give us one of them big jalapenos that are 17 inches. No one knows what they're for. I'm sure them big peppers on the kebabs are just in case you get fucking mugged on the way home and you can fight them off like, oh, da -da. <laughs> And he's like, I was like, how much is it? He's like, 12 quid. I was like, that's apt. Give it here. And he's like, do you want me to put paper around it? I was like, nah. <laughs> I've got big plans for this. And I walked home with it. 
And I walked past that house. <laughs> and I fucking threw it right through his letterbox, right? And do you know what? You'd be proud to know I hadn't lost it. Form is temporary, class is permanent. Like, I could probably still go to the good old US of A and be a paper boy over there. And because I was fucking bladdered, I just went home and I'd forgotten I did it. And I woke up in the morning with garlic fingers. And I genuinely didn't know what I'd done. And you know that fear when you think, I've fucking done something here. And then I remembered what I'd fucking done. And I genuinely didn't care because he was a cunt, right? <laughs> but what I did think is like, mate, I'm going to go down. And I'm going to go and see what's going on here. So I fucking walked down. And I just stood over the road. And I just waited. And I was so happy. And then I was less happy because I was like, what if he's moved? <laughs> <laughs> he hadn't he opened the door and he was fucking fuming and I was so happy and I went over and I was like you alright he didn't recognise me because I had the little Yazoo tash like you yeah I was like mm. you okay and he was like no and I was like I'm so fucking happy I've done this I said what's up and he said, some ruffian has put a whole kebab. And in my head, it was like, it's fucking two, mate. You don't know how much fucking Donna was in that pit of there. Through my letterbox. And I was like, what's it doing? He's like, it's made a total mess of my carpet. It's like, you should have got a bigger mat. And I just fucked up. Fucking dickhead. <clears throat> Thank you. You've been so nice. I'm going to go now. Uh, happy Sunday and that. Um, I'll leave you with this, right? I've got a master's degree in creative writing because I'm a sick dude. And um, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was when you write creatively. Like, you know, when you do a scene, you put a flick on it. <laughs> Isn't that's calligraphy and I could have done a course at West Cheshire College for a hundred and eighty pounds and I spent four grand on a master's. But what I did do is a poem, right? I've got an uncle. And we've all got uncles, right? And uncles have all got shit names like fucking Malcolm and that. Um and my uncle's called Rasputin, right? That's what he's called. <laughs> Mate, I feel like Queen just doing Bohemian Rhapsody now. I was gonna just fuck off. Try and engineer an uncle. <laughs> um, I wasn't. I was just going to fuck straight off. I'm going to karate chop the popper dogs. <laughs> so, right, I've got an uncle called Rasputin. I wrote a poem about him. I'm going to leave you here. You've been fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I, this is like beyond my wildest dreams. I didn't. I thought I might have to play to that front row. Like, but honestly, to have this many people in, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Please come back and see me again. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, yeah, so here we go. And before, before I'm gonna. By, by the way, when this is done, I'm fucking straight off. So follow me on Instagram if you don't already. It's Danny MC Comedy. Listen to my podcast with Molly. I do and Rob Mulholland as well called Damn Daniel Podcast. Um, give it up again for Molly McGuinness opening the show. And give it up for all the staff working hard and the staff that aren't working hard. So here we go. I've got an uncle, it's called Rasputin. This is a poem and it's called My Uncle because I'm not good at poems and good at titles, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, I want to look arty because it's art. <laughs> like I always wanted to close my show with like proper art. I never wanted to do fucking comedy. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to be a, <laughs> wanted to be a paper boy. <laughs> so <laughs> does that look good, Matt? Does that look arty? You're, like, you're into it, yeah. Um, and by the way, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Do not cheapen this with your laughs. 
you wouldn't you wouldn't laugh at Keats. Um, yeah, you know Roy Keats used to play for United. Um, so here we go. Stop it now. You wouldn't laugh. You wouldn't laugh at Betjeman. <clears throat> you know Betjeman Bunny, Peter Rabbit's cousin. <laughs> Stop it. Because right, you wouldn't laugh at Sylvia Plath, would you? Because that that's a tragic tale and that shouldn't be laughed at. <clears throat> it's not funny at all, is it? It's not funny at all. So here we go. <clears throat> There was this one time, yeah? My uncle like punched this guy in the head, yeah? <laughs> and this guy fell over. My uncle like kicked him in, in the jaw and I was like, yo. Why did you put the boots in? <laughs> uncle. Rasputin. <laughs> Shh, stop it. Or I'll just walk off. I used to jump out of planes, yeah. My uncle used to pack my bag. And one time I pulled the cord, but nothing happened. And I was like, yo. <laughs> you didn't put the parachute in. <laughs> uncle. <laughs> Ross Putin. I just got a really bad sweet tooth, yeah. My uncle baked me this apple pie and I bit into it, but it was just pastry. And I was like, yo. <laughs> you forgot to put the fruit in. <laughs> Uncle oh, Rasputin. Cool. <clears throat> I like to watch TV really loud, like 50 out of 50, but my uncle kept grabbing the remote and pressing that button. Turns off all the sound at once, and I was like, yo, why you be muting? <laughs> uncle Rasputin. Oh, my my uncle used to think he was my sat nav and he would sit in my car sending me all like these well wrong ways around the northwest, yeah, and I was like, yo. Stop rerouting. <laughs> uncle. My uncle used to be a historian and he'd make a list of all the English kings, but he forgot one of the main Viking ones, and I was like, yo. You didn't put King Canute in. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> My uncle used to think he was an owl. <laughs> yeah. And he was making an owl noise like, Ooh. and I was like, yo, st stop hooting. <laughs> uncle. Rasp. <laughs> My favorite drink is Robinson's lemon barley water, and I like it four parts juice to two parts water, but my uncle makes it two parts juice to four parts water, and I was like, yo, that is well too much diluting. <laughs> uncle Ross Butin. Turns out my uncle's name was not Ross Butin at all, and he changed his name by depot when he was 15 and this tall, and I found out I was gutted. I phoned him up in tears, and I was like, yo, why all this time have you been lying? Uncle Brian, you've been lovely having Danny McLaughlin. See you later, bye.